to clear our throat constantly. Not just for days, but for months and years. And it seems that there is no explanation and treatment for this problem. So, do you or one of your loved ones have the same problem? Hello and welcome to our channel. This is Dr. Fatima and today we're going to talk about constant mucus at the back of throat and offer some ways to treat it. So, if you're interested, please stay tuned. The first disorder that can cause constant mucus is called GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disorder, which is basically a condition where you have severe acid reflux. It's because the valve on the top of your stomach doesn't close, so the acid kind of comes up through your esophagus and your throat and it can lead to irritation, inflammation and mucus. So, how do you know if you have GERD? Well, there are a couple of symptoms that you might notice if you have GERD. For example, bulging, excess of saliva, sensation of food stuck in your throat, hoarseness, sore throat, or even a sour taste in your mouth. So, if you have some of these symptoms and you also struggle with constant mucus, you might want to use some natural remedies and see if they work. The two natural remedies suggested for GERD are betaine hydrochloride and apple cider vinegar pills. You can take two to three apple cider vinegar pills or five of betaine hydrochloride pills before every meal and see if your symptoms go away. The next cause of constant mucus is the post-nozzle drip situation, which is a condition where the mucus comes from the back of your sinuses and it leaks to your throat, causing you to cough up mucus. This condition can be caused by a bacterial, viral, or even fungal infection. It can also be coming from a biofilm, which is a colony of microbes that band together to help them survive. This biofilm keeps microbes resistant against antibiotics and other forms of medical treatment. So you always have this constant irritation in your sinuses, where your sinus is stuffy and you can't sleep well because you snore, and you always have this constant mucus at the back of your throat. A lot of time when you have fungal, yeast, candida or biofilm, you have this problem all year long and usually it gets triggered by getting an antibiotic. So if you've taken antibiotics months ago and now you notice, well, my sinuses seems a little bit worse, now you can suspect this fungus or biofilm overgrowth. Let's just say that these microbes are just trying to survive and they need to protect themselves. And each time that you try to kill them with a the wrong thing, like antibiotics, they just resist that and become stronger. If this post-nozzle drip infection is mostly bacterial, the mucus will tend to be green or yellow and if it is mostly viral then the mucus would be mostly clear or white but it's not 100% it can cross over and you can also have an infection where both microorganisms live together so there are a couple of solutions that you can do for your post nasal drip infection depending on if it is mild or a major problem if your problem is mild, you can only use salt water or saline solutions. So basically, you put half a teaspoon of sea salt with a cup of water and dissolve it and then use this as a nasal rinse and just flush it out. And that might be able to handle your problem well. Apparently, salt is antimicrobial, especially for bacteria, fungus, yeast, and candida. And potentially, it can help with viruses to some levels too. However, if it's a major problem, we're gonna need something stronger. The next combination is actually really effective and it's been recommended by a lot of doctors. For this combination, we're gonna need a small amount of baby shampoo. And the reason why we don't use a regular shampoo is because it's gonna be so harsh and it's gonna damage the membranes. So we're gonna need something really gentle and no teary and something that has the lowest amount of chemicals. I'm not necessarily giving you any brands, so you just have to do the research by yourself. But all you have to do is to put two teaspoons of this baby shampoo with four cups of water and then use it as a nasal rinse four times a day and that will help the mucus to dissolve. 
because it's a detergent, it works great on that. And because you dilute it, it doesn't irritate the inside mucous membranes. And you can also add some of that salt water to it, and then you have a great remedy. There are other things that you can do. The mucus is being generated at the back of your throat, lower than your sinuses, in your larynx, or even if you have an infection in your tonsils. You can use povidin iodine. So you go to the drugstore and get the one that says 10% on the bottle. This one is really 1% absorption. And you dilute it by 50% with water. So you just take basically half of an ounce of this povidin iodine and you mix another half ounce of water. Iodine is a very potent antimicrobial, so you should dilute it well so it doesn't hurt your mucous membranes. So what you should do is that you take a Q-tip deep into the solution and then rub it around inside of each of your nostrils. That actually can kill off all the things in your sinuses. And what you should do next is to gargle the rest of the solution in order to get it to the back of your throat. You gargle it for like 30 seconds and then you spit it out. And you should gargle it twice a day with a 12 hour time frame in between. The next cause of constant mucus is allergies. Now for allergies, the best thing to do is to avoid certain parts of your environment and do fasting. Prolonged fasting can help improve the immune system and it actually can even help you get rid of your allergies. So about the food allergies, the most common type of food allergies involve dairies. So you can just simply cut out dairies for a while and see if the mucus goes away or not. And now I'm going to give you some recommendations to improve your immune system in order to defeat all the microbes. The first thing to suggest is garlic. Garlic is a real potent antimicrobial, bacterial, viral, anti-mold, anti-fungal, anti-everything really. The next recommendation is to stop consuming sugar. Sugar feeds these microbes, especially if you have fungus, mold, or yeast, please stop consuming sugar. And then there's these remedies that I always recommend for the immune system. A lot of vitamin D, minimally 20 to 30,000 units every single day. Vitamin C, make sure you do a natural version, not a synthetic version, and then zinc. Those three are the go-to for every single immune problem. And lastly, I would recommend this if you have coughing. Let's say you have a small child who is coughing all night because of this mucus. Sometimes you can take calcium lactate and that would just suppress the cough. One of the symptoms of low calcium is laryngeal spasm, which can cause coughing. So it's a good remedy for coughing that could be mucus related or not, but coughing through the night, especially for kids or adults. That was it for today. Thank you guys for watching and hope you can use all these remedies and get rid of this irritating feeling. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!